Tom from Seattle, Washington writes to me and he says, Paul, I recently upgraded my speakers and was initially disappointed with how they sounded. Tight, closed in, a little harsh. Well, <laughs> but after a few weeks of regular use, they seem to have opened up dramatically. The mid-range is smoother, the bass has more depth, and overall they're just more enjoyable. I didn't change anything else in the system, so now I'm wondering, was this speaker break-in or was it just me adjusting to the new sound? Do speakers really change as they break in or is this more about perception? Quick answer, it's both. But more to the point, it's the speaker breaking in. So we've talked about break-in before, especially with electronics, all of that's real. What speakers do is easier perhaps to understand than how capacitors break in, how wires can break in. So a loudspeaker is a mechanical device that has moving parts just like your car or any other thing. And as that mechanical device moves back and forth, the stretchy stuff, the surround, the cone, the spider, the spider is the part that holds the voice coil so that the speaker doesn't flop around. It's the little suspension in the back of the speaker. All of that starts getting exercised and like anything that exercises for, from you to elastic to uh, anything mechanical, it changes its properties over time and use, right? So without use, it can just sort of go back and its elasticity changes. As we start exercising and moving it, it becomes, I mean, it literally changes in, in it, its, its, its form, its, its construction changes. And so, yeah, it's very much, um, break-in is very real. Chris showed me some uh, diagrams and graphs measurements of our planar tweeter. With 100 hours of use, the frequency response changes by, gosh, a half, three quarters of a dB. I mean, its response just evens out. You can measure it. You can see it. And a lot of times, you know, this, this stuff we, we can't really measure, but you can hear it. Well, this you can hear and you can measure it. So, Yes, speaker break-in is absolutely real, and it's a good idea to just give those speakers some time to, to do their thing. And of course, you are getting more used to it, and then you're gonna tweak and change them and move it around, and all that matters, so. All right, I hope that answered your question. Thanks, bye.